hi guys it's a inkuliwe and this will be like the fifth or the sixth time i will be trying this i will be recording this tutorial i'm always just having issues with it either i don't get it right or my recording um is not recording actually so uh, i've been doing this since like forever rather so i'm so tired so i'm just gonna get um straight to the point so i'm um, sorry i couldn't finish this tutorial yesterday it was because of rain and the light so i was just shouting i couldn't hear my voice um so i had to stop the recording and start all over today so when i was trying to start again so i discovered that i've lost the device i just had to start from the, the, the beginning so what i did when i was um, doing this thing again Yesterday we were dealing with 30 FPS, but today we will, um, I will be talking about 24 because I used 24 when I was going to um, export this guy out in JPEG um, sequence. So I used um, 24. So either you use 24 or 30, still the same thing. So I'm just before we start anything, let's go to the settings and change everything. So if you are using um, Let's go to settings. If you are using 24 or 30, you should select it here. In my case, I'm using 24. If um, you go to time slider, and my case, it's a read time. So if yours is in a playable frame, just change it to read time, either 30 FPS or 24 FPS, and save. So um, that is it. So um, the next thing now is, as you can see, if I scroll through this thing, you can see the camera is moving and this guy is moving, but this. All these are at a static point. That is because of what I chose when I was going to export the camera sub from Bojo. I chose static scene and moving camera, and that is what is happening. These points here, they are the scenes, and this one and this one, they are the camera. So that is why I have moving camera and static scene. So let's go on. And this is the floor, the ground level. So this should um, be parallel to the grid. Should sit on the grid. So to do that i'll go to windows and look for outliner and i'll select the data so to do that i'll just select e and rotate it so to be precise to be able to see it clearly so i'll come to okay if it's not gonna work that way so i'll just select this guy and look at it from that side so yes i think it's sitting perfectly on the um grid so the next thing now to do is um go back to this place split this thing up select the reference point and you select it first and go to uh, channel box and here you can just hide and select um hard and assign so select that and just take off the visibility and you are good to go so um this thing will not be disturbing us another thing is to look through the camera so that we know what we are doing so come to this side and just select panel perspective and look through the camera so you are good to go you can select all these gates so that you know the um the resolution so i have my perfect resolution so we are good to go so the next thing now is to just import in our um our mesh so yours might be animation it's gonna work it's gonna work fine so um what i'm gonna do now is go to file and import so just select the import and look for documents and and select the dead body obj file so here we have it so let's see it from this side this is too big for my liking so i need to scale this guy down select that press r on the keyboard and scale it down so let's look through this place so okay take it to this side so take it there to that side so i want to check him here so that is a man lying down on the road scaling down more so move it to this side so um that is it that is how we want it to be so if i scroll through this you should see that it is perfectly okay from that side so that is exactly what i'm looking for so the next thing now is to have this guy had a uh, detection so i'm just gonna um go to this place i ai standard and should have AI standard um the attribute editor select the attribute editor here standard and click on this option and select a file so go back to the box and look for the here yes so i'll select this that's the texture so if i select this texture i have in so let me press td for the refine so um let's go back to this place so the next thing now is to bring in another uh, plane a plane not another so we never had a plane so this is a plane so i will go to channel box and scroll down 
select the polyplane, scroll down and displays the subdivisions, change it to one so that we can manage the um, polyface that we have. So I'll just scale it like so, so like so. View it from this side. Don't bother about this. So it's, um, actually, it's a uh, render passes that I want to do. So if we are, we'll be using just two, because I've said I, I've tried the shadow and it didn't work. So I'll be using the um, occlusion and the beauty. So um, that is what we'll be using. So um, let me go back to this place, tiny box. So um, in the previous years, it used to be uh, here. It used to be here the render layer. You know, you have the display layer, the animation layer. And the render layer right here but before i go on let me select the plane and just add him here i can add him height i can bring him in the visibility so we're going to go with that so the next thing now is to look for where the key this thing now and where the key pit is just here come to this place just launch the render setup window launch it and we have it here so what i'm going to be doing now is to just click on this plus icon we have another thing and let me call it um beauty that will be the color the normal color so i'm gonna call it beauty and another thing is we need to add what we want um the beauty to contain so i'm gonna right click and um create collection so the collection is just be beauty so let me leave it that way so the collection as you can see it says um drag the node here i'm um, using outliner or select from the viewport so what we want for our collection before i continue let me add something here because if i'm going to render this this way with another renderer i'm not going to see anything except this guy right here the camera that i have here and that is because render um another renderer needs lights or something that will just emit light that you can see the environment and to do that what i'm going to do is go to another and lights and sky dome. just add the sky dome. you see the sky dome this will let you see the whole environment even without light but still we need our light so i'll go to rendering and just create directional lights and um looking at this gutter right here we can see that this um shadow is coming from this place definitely the light is coming from this side so i will rotate my light to this side and just make it look this way so that i will have my shadow just like going to this side so I think we're good to go now. So um, now we were going to add um, things here.